Right guys, my name's Anthony Cummins and this is the um, Western Culture and Tradition channel and I'm trying to get out to you guys just, you know, the richness of the culture we have and all that. Now, uh, we're in the middle of a barn conversion so you'll find that this is in a barn conversion playlist but in ancient times they used to bury animals under the threshold of houses and buildings. Um, we think as spiritual guardians if you like it's probably the most plausible thing but you used to get infants all sorts buried so we recently just had a dog die um called bala actually it's not even a name so it's my stepdaughter's dog um and sorry about the sun so it's called bala so what i'm doing is we're building a barn here a bar sorry so this is an old barn from the farm and we're doing it up that's the original well no it's not the original barns that's the 1950s version but this has been here probably since the 50s as well or maybe a bit later so what I'm going to do is I'm digging a hole where we are going to convert it into a bar and I'm digging a hole where the entrance will be so she's under the threshold. I've already put the horseshoe up and you can see I've been digging there. So she was actually called Delilah but she's called Barla so I've left her in the car overnight because obviously I don't want to pull her in the house. We have to go pick her up from um, Maisie's stepdad. So but we're bringing it here because it's Maisie's dog, my stepdaughter. So um, so basically um stepdaughter's dog we're going to bury it in there and um, so the dog itself has ever never really been here but obviously it's the family dog from before the divorce and the stepdaughter has really you know seen the dog weekly so and absolutely loves it so we're going to bury it there and let it protect the bar and that means it'll be called Barla's Bar. The actual bar itself, the building is going to be called Poppy Lots, based on the name of some of the fields around here. But the bar inside will be Barla's Bar and we'll get bulldog stuff put up there. So Bolt's not seen Delilah in a while. So um, let him see her one more time. I assume obviously dogs don't understand death, but he can see her. Because uh, he literally grew up with her for five years. Chip didn't, so, so Bolt can sort of probably understand who she is. Chip, get off the bloody mound. Um, then obviously we'll be covering this floor so they won't be able to get to the dog. Chip is visibly shaking. I don't know what he... He's absolutely petrified. You should see him. He's not Chip's the happiest go luckiest dog. I don't know if you can see it popping in camera, but he's absolutely shaking. He never shakes. He's usually bouncing and lovely. So this is where I'm buried. It's quite deep, actually. It doesn't look so deep, but she's quite deep. And of course she will deflate and then I'll put more soil in, cover it up, and compact it down. Chip, get out of there. So, and um, then hopefully in years to come, we might turn this into a brick building or a, a tim better timber frame building, and she'll always be the guardian spirit of it. I do wonder, though, because the blanket possibly smells of his old master, if you know what I mean. Um... I've got to put, obviously guys don't worry I'll put some on top of this so they can't dig it but um, I think he smells the blanket of possibly the guy who used to own him or Emma's ex-husband obviously we got him in the split and he's my favourite thing on the planet at the minute except my wife I've decided to use some of the rubble to make it into the shape of a ship for the journey into the afterlife so <laughs> don't worry I'll get rid of the dogs in a bit but uh, let them pat the ground down for a bit um, so journey into afterlife it's actually facing the south because um, it's, it's not facing east here basically the, the hole is the wrong way but i've only just had the idea so she can face the sun in its midday and climb there chip he's starting to because chip's never met her before he's starting to get the dig sensation but um make sure they can't dig her up right so there you go that's the boat into the afterlife I'll just wait for the earth to settle and then um, fill in a bit more and then we're going to be building a wooden, uh, obviously this joists and support, we're going to fill in the gaps and then um, there'll be joists, put some wooden slats, or uh, obviously floorboards over it, slats, floorboards, I'm trying to think of the word for floorboards and uh, then of course that'll be a done out bar, so keep following this channel guys. Um, my name is Anthony Cummins, I am the author of um, The Ultimate Unofficial Guide to Tolkien and one of my aims is to bring back some of the um, older traditions, English, British, Western traditions. So keep subscribed, get yourself a copy of the book, and I hope you enjoyed it.